Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at updating our rooted Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL to the October security update just released yesterday. Now I'll be showing you how to do this using Fastboot. I have had a few requests to do this using I guess the built-in OTA mechanism with Magisk but I will explain uh, why I usually don't do that at the end of the video if you're interested. But we're going to get started uh, using Fastboot to update our device. And to do that, we're going to need to download a few things. And first up is the SDK platform tools. Now, if you already have this downloaded somewhere on your computer, um, very likely, in fact, since you have rooted your phone already, you can actually just reuse the same one as long as it's up to date. You can check the revisions of the SDK platform tools down here. And if you've downloaded the version or your version of the platform tools in between September and now, you should be up to date. As always, you can check using the double dash version uh, flag but um, if you're unsure just download the latest version again it doesn't really hurt and you can just replace your old uh, version that you've installed or put down on your computer so just click on the download button that's right for your operating system agree to the terms and conditions and then also just download the platform tools now I'm going to save everything in one folder and I recommend that you do that as well just to keep things very neat and the next thing we want to download is the factory image for our pixel 2 or pixel 2 XL so just go over to the right hand side here and you can select the one that is right for your phone and just scroll all the way down until we see the one for October so PPR2 and ends in 003 and that should be the same for the Pixel 2 as well and yes it is now once you have your factory image downloaded we also want to download the latest version of Magisk this is 17.2 I'll be using the beta version so just scroll down and download the latest beta or you can download the latest stable version, your choice. And last but not least, you need to download the version of TWRP for your Pixel 2 and of course, or 2XL. So the latest version I think was released in August and yes, it still is 3.2.3-1. And if a newer version comes out by the time you're watching this, please download the latest version. Now, once you have those four files downloaded, you should have something that looks just like this. I can go minimize the Chrome browser now. And from here, we want to open up the Platform Tools zip file just to get things started. And we want to extract the entirety of the Platform Tools into the folder that we have downloaded everything in. Now, of course, if you have already set up the Platform Tools somewhere in your computer, you can skip this step outright and we can, or you should be able to use the Platform Tools that we need anyways. So in here, we want to open up the Platform Tools folder and you want to click on the address bar up here, on Windows at least. And we want to type in the word CMD and that'll open up a new command prompt window that has already changed to our platform tools directory. So we don't need to go uh, messing around with changing directories. This makes it very easy and very quick. So once you've done that and it is indeed the right directory here. Okay, that's not the directory, but you know what I'm saying. You can go back one, uh, back to where all our files are downloaded. The next thing we want to do is extract the factory image. So you want to open up the factory image open up the folder inside the factory image and extract these three files extract them just like that so that is the image zip file and then we have the bootloader file of the image and then the radio image as well alrighty so now that that's done we can close the factory image and then we can now copy over the magic zip file to our phone now I do understand that some people haven't been able to decrypt their data partition in TWRP for several months now, even though they did issue that update in August that supposedly fixed that. Uh, for me, I think it didn't work. So I will show you how to sideload it anyways um, if you can't decrypt your data partition later on. So I'm going to copy Magisk, that zip file, and of course you'll need to change your phone to, I guess, file transferring mode. So I'm just going to tap on file transfer and you should see on the computer now that we have Pixel 2 available to open. So copy the Magisk zip file to your phone like so. You can see it's at the bottom here. I won't be installing TWRP to my phone because I don't really need it. Uh, but if you do want to install TWRP onto your phone, you can also download and flash the TWRP installer that you can find in the same download page as TWRP. So I've copied the Magisk zip file to my phone. Now I can close that and now we can reboot our phone back into the bootloader. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and plug in our device, make sure it's plugged in with the USB cable. And then I'm going to hold the 
power button and tap on restart and as soon as the screen turns black hold the volume down button and that will get our phone into the bootloader soon enough now if your phone remains black uh, on a black screen just keep holding the volume down button until your phone goes into that Android screen so you can see that took a little while but once we're in there we can now go ahead back to our computer and we're going to flash the new images here so first up we're going to update our bootloader so we're going to type in fastboot flash bootloader leave a space after the word bootloader and drag in the bootloader image and hit enter now this will flash your current active slot uh, bootloader and once you've done that we can reboot our phone back into the bootloader and to do that we can type in fastboot reboot dash bootloader and hit enter our phone should turn black and then reboot itself back into bootloader and then what we're going to do now is uh, flash the radio image and we're going to type in fastboot flash radio leave a space after the word radio and drag in the radio image where are you there you are okay and hit enter on that and once again we're going to reboot our phone back into the bootloader you can press the up arrow key on your keyboard to go to previous commands and hit enter on that once we're back into the bootloader what we can do next is now flash the image zip file here using our very famous update command so we're going to type in fastboot double dash and type in the word skip dash reboot and then type in the word update and leave a space after update and drag in the image zip file I'll just quickly explain what the skip reboot does if it's not self-explanatory uh, basically what this does is usually the, re the update command will automatically reboot your phone once it is done flashing and we don't want that because we want to boot into TWRP to reroute our device so in this case we've decided or we've told the bootloader not to automatically reboot as soon as it's finished so we can go ahead and do that without having to do like expert timing on our device to boot it back into the bootloader now also if you do end up running into some kind of unknown error or too many links when you're flashing here in fastboot now what you can do or try to do is just replug your phone back into the computer or actually reboot your phone back into the bootloader as well or try a different USB port and just keep trying the update command okay that's done it took 52 seconds and we managed to talk all the way through that so once it's done flashing we can now boot up the TWRP image so to do that we're going to type in fastboot boot leave a space after the word boot and drag in the TWRP image and hit enter and that'll boot our phone into the, the TWRP image that we gave it and it does take a little bit on this screen sometimes as well so just leave it until it boots into that uh, decryption screen okay so I'm gonna give decryption a go hopefully this works nope okay see it doesn't work for me but if it does work for you that's great you can go ahead and flash magisk normally now for us we're going to sideload magisk so we're gonna hit cancel and in this screen this is very important this is something I'm going to touch on at the end of the video but if you want to see or take OTAs using magisk so you don't need to download the whole factory image and do all this uh, fast boot stuff so you can effectively do it on the go uh, out and about uh, please at this screen if you do get this screen tap on keep read only and then do not flash anything that would mess up the system partition and I think the vendor partition as well although I'm not too sure but the system you definitely do not want to touch if you want to take OTAs and I'll probably be showing that in the next video how to use magisk to do that but I'll explain a little bit later on but in this case if your phone was able to decrypt its data partition all you need to do is tap on install locate your magisk zip file tap on it and flash it and then reboot your phone but in case you can't like I have you just got scrambled folders and you can't really access anything what we need to do is go down to advanced and then tap on ADB sideload and type on or swipe to start sideload once you have that screen open all you need to do is head back over to your computer and type in ADB devices in our command prompt the same one this will start the ADB daemon and that should be able to detect your device in the sideload mode you can see it here now here we need to type in ADB sideload and we're going to drag in our magisk zip file in just like that and hit enter and you should see it's going to serve that zip file and you can see that it's going to pretty much stream that zip file to our device and it's going to do all the flashing stuff that it needs to do or magisk needs to do without having to decrypt our data partition okay so that looks fine and all we need to do now is to reboot our system 
and I'm not going to install the TWRP app because that's essentially bloatware and I don't like random things in my app drawer. But now you can reboot your phone. And I'm sorry that wasn't on the big screen, but just reboot your phone once you've flashed Magisk. And we're just going to check a few things once we've booted up. And I'll just fast forward until we get there. Okay, so our phone's booted up. It didn't take too long. So I'm just going to swipe, unlock my phone. Now, if your phone doesn't turn on, uh, someone had this experience a while ago, uh, you may need to kind of reset your phone in a way. There could have been something happening. That's if the Magisk uninstaller doesn't fix your problem. And when you still flash Magisk, it doesn't work. But hopefully it does work out for you. Let me know if it doesn't. And I'll try my best to help you out. But here, our phone is booted up. And you can see it's finishing its system update here. Now, I guess we'll just check Magisk Manager real quick. Where art thou? There we are. And we should be on the latest version of Magisk, and we should also pass Safety Net, as I did the Year 6P's video earlier today. And yes, it does. And that's great. I think my modules should still be there. And yes, it is. I have a couple of that of those modules installed as well, and we're on the latest version. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Now, I would like to touch on my next video, potentially, for the Pixel 2 and Excel. Now, what I was talking about earlier when we don't want, I guess, a modified system and why I don't usually show myself, I guess, updating my phone using the OTA is because I can't really account for everyone's configuration of their phone. Uh, they may have thought they have not modified their system, but they could have, you know, even just mounted it or decided to flash something or install a system app the other way and not systemlessly. And then when they do the OTA, it would fail and then... I guess they would need to come back to this method anyways. So the reason why reason why I like to show this method is because it is almost guaranteed to work with everyone's device because I guess it uses stock standard images and things like that. So that's the reason why I like to use the factory images in a video format. But next week, or sorry, next month, I should say, I will be giving a go the OTA method using Magisk because it is very good and it works quite well last time I tried it. So just keep that in mind for next month and just try not to modify your system in any way. But in fact, you could reset it just by flashing the images that we did earlier here. So this image zip file, you could just flash that again if you decided to make any uh, changes to your system, just in the same way that we did it up here before when we used the fastboot skip reboot update command. You can use the same command and that will reset your phone I guess back to the factory system images so that's one thing to keep in mind as well so thanks for watching guys and as always if you have any other questions or suggestions feel free to leave it down below in the comment section and if you want to engage in a, I guess a little bit more of an extended conversation you can definitely head over to my discord server I'll have that link down below as well and as always happy flashing